What's the on? Did you hate us the whole time? We already know from the books that there's a secret tunnel inside the walls of Winterfell. That tunnel may come into play. Bran's a squirrel, so Bran knew about that. I made a short video on that last year, links above if you're curious. But there may be a second secret tunnel in Winterfell, a tunnel in the crypts of Winterfell. Benjen, or Sly the Tank Benjen, is one of the most well-versed Game of Thrones fans that we've got. Last night, in his stream with Drinks and Nose Things and LMR, he mentioned something that I had not thought about in a while since I'm obsessed with Bale the Bard. Even if you don't believe that the Night King was Bale's child, even if you don't believe that the Night King was born in the crypts of Winterfell, there are lessons to be learned from the Bale the Bard story and from the Abel subplot in the books. Both of these stories allude to a secret entrance and thus a secret exit from Winterfell. Allegedly, Bale kidnapped a Stark girl, just like Rhaegar, but in truth, they sang a song, a love song, and the Stark girl hid down in the crypts. That's where she gave birth, so regardless of who that child is, it doesn't have to be the Night King. But regardless, the girl hid down there for nine months while her father was ruling Winterfell. In the show, we see Osha sneak some food down to Bran, Rickon, and Hodor. So maybe that's what happened. Maybe someone snuck food down to her for those nine months. But Maester Lewin eventually caught Osha. So you would think that eventually someone would have caught someone sneaking food down to the Stark girl during those nine months she was down there pregnant. That's clue number one. Clue number two relates to Mance Raider with his Mission Impossible subplot as Abel, an anagram for Bale. In the books, there's a girl going by the name of Holly. Holly's on Mance Raider's team, the team whom Melisandre sent to Winterfell to rescue false Arya. In the Turncloak chapter, Holly asked Theon if he had some secret way into Winterfell. And later, in the A Ghost of Winterfell chapter, Holly asked Theon to see the crypts. Now keep in mind, Theon once took over Winterfell. I've taken your castle. Theon? It's Prince Theon now. So Theon deduces that Abel, or Mance Raider, he's curious if there's a secret entrance into Winterfell vis-a-vis -vis the crypts. That this was how Theon was able to sneak into Winterfell and take it from Bran. I sent men over the walls with grappling claws and ropes. Why? It's not. Theon simply scaled the walls. But the point is, it's a second clue to a secret entrance into Winterfell through the crypts of Winterfell. So we have two clues to a secret entrance into Winterfell. The Stark girl may have used it to receive supplies when she was down there pregnant and Holly asked Theon about his secret entrance and about the crypts. On top of that, clue number three, from the latest HBO tease, Crypts of Winterfell. We see Jon and Sansa in standard crypt hallways. They're pretty wide. But we see Arya in this skinny tunnel. It's so skinny. Why is this tunnel so skinny? You are skinny. Just like her. Maybe this tunnel is related to the secret entrance into the Crypts of Winterfell. So we've got three clues in total. There's a chance that there's an entrance into the crypts which would allow people into Winterfell or out of Winterfell. And I'd be remiss to remind everyone that Abel is an anagram for Bale, so I stand by my theory that the Night King is Bale the Bard's child, born in the crypts of Winterfell. The reason I rehash this is because fans are speculating that the Starks can escape Winterfell via this secret tunnel, the secret escape route. But if the Night King is the son of Bale the Bard, if the Night King was born in the crypts of Winterfell, he might have learned the whole story, and he might be the only one who knows about this secret entrance. Dun dun dun. Thank you to Benjen for reminding me about this on last night's live chat. If you want to hear more gems like this, sub to Drinks and Nose Things. I'll be on with them discussing Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 2. I'll see you there.